School choice is about to change in St. Paul. The district recently proposed a new strategic plan that tackles several challenges at once. First of all, we took all the data that we have related to uh, school uh, achievement, student achievement, uh, diversity, economical, racial. The district divided St. Paul into six community areas. And now families have to choose between neighborhood schools in their area if they want busing. So what we did is try to balance the areas of number of students, number of schools in the area, economical status of the family, racial balance. So we use all that. A major contributor to this shift is that the district has been facing severe funding cuts to the education budget. Since 2003, St. Paul District has lost $1,700 in inflation-adjusted dollars per student. Schools are now forced to make certain cuts and adjustments that do not necessarily benefit um, the interests of students' education. The superintendent says budgets were a major factor in the new plan, but another reason for their shift is to increase achievement for all students. And the data showed us that our neighborhood students' performance, especially for those students of color, they are a slightly better performance than they are getting today in the magnet schools. So that has been something that is also making us look at, is it possible or even necessary for us to be busing kids from one side to the other if we're not getting that achievement gap that it was expected from the magnet schools. And whatever we were doing is not giving us the result we expected. We need to do something different and we have to also look at the ways of saving dollars without taking money away from the classrooms. Because we know that that's where the magic happens. That classroom teacher in front of those students is when all the learning goes on.